Tonight, a series of fights outside a Norfolk high school has parents on edge. Thank you for watching. I'm Tom Shad. Leaders in the community are stressing that something needs to change. Ten of your size, Michelle Wolf is in the Wavy newsroom now with more details. Michelle. Tom, several videos are circulating on social media showing a large group of Norview High School students assaulting one student. One fight started on school property, another in the middle of Sewell's Point Road. Just today, a third fight on Chesapeake Boulevard. This time, adults were involved. In this video taken last Tuesday by a Norview High School student, a large group pulls a child from a parked car in the school's parking lot drags him to the ground and starts assaulting him. Many stand and watch, their phones out recording. A group of juveniles about to fight. The fight then spills off onto Souls Point Road at five points, stopping traffic. Those behind the wheel, too, take out their phones and begin recording. Norfolk police were called to break up the altercation. A spokesperson says no one was injured. Then today, another fight. People are fighting in a parking lot. Kids are being dismissed from school right now. Larger than before. It's about 50 people, adults and children. It's going to be a black SUV also driving recklessly through the parking lot. Norview parents afraid to go on camera, but say they're fed up with the violence. We'll be transporting one female to Hampton VA Hospital. Community activists are also calling for change. And they're getting larger, they're getting more intense. Um, and it's time for the schools the city and the communities to come together. Freddie Taylor would stop the violence 757 is no stranger to Norview. I used to love Norview for about seven, eight years, and I hung out in Norview through my teenage years. So I've, I've seen the, the increase of, of things out there. He says the problem isn't unique to the neighborhood. This is what's happening in 95% of the urban communities throughout America. All they know is anger, rage, retaliation. We need to implement the proper de-escalation methods, conflict resolution, and grief support. A collaborative effort. You know your child's demeanor is changing, their uh, apparel is changing. Um, it's time to step up. And to Taylor, it starts with bringing back community centers and activities to give children an outlet. These kids are in the midst of releasing anger and they, they may not think and swing on you, hit you, or you become the object of their aggression now. We reached out to Norfolk Public Schools regarding the recent fights on and off school property. A spokesperson tells us the district does not comment on student disciplinary matters. In the Wavy Newsroom, Michelle Wolf, 10 on your side.